Okay, so then they that are in the flesh cannot you please can't God. Do. You can't please God. Read on. But ye are not in the flesh. All right, saints. Come on. But in the spirit. But in the spirit. Now, look, there's that big word again. Two letters. If so, what? If so, be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, what you need to do is start having respect for what God has birthed in you. Amen. Amen. We all need to do that. So I realize that I'm not the same man of my diaspora before this born again experience. I realize that. And I hadn't always had great respect for that. I mean, I've had a hunger and thirst and stuff, but it didn't become really, truly serious and stuff until I really, 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 really start bearing down and seeking for understanding. Amen. And now I understand and know what's going on even more so. I mean, I always had a hunger and thirst to read for God and study for God and stuff, but I'm, I mean business, serious business. Amen. I only got one time to mean business. That's true. Ain't no such thing, no reincarnation of you coming back as a butterfly. Oh. And, and you surely don't want to come back as a duck that I ran over last week. <laughs> a few weeks ago. Amen. What a mind like that, boy. He should have been run over. <laughs> come on, brother. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ. What is it? He is none of his. And what does religion and Christianity of America today fight against more than anything? The spirit of Christ. You're That's receiving right. the spirit of Christ. And God said you need to receive it too. That's right. And they fight against it hard. Now, that's Christianity does it because they have a concerted effort out there to do it. Mm -hmm. But then there's something even greater than Christianity that opposes his spirit in you and at you. Amen. Amen. Come on. And if Christ be in you, mm -hmm. the body is dead because of sin. Yep. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. How is the spirit life? Because of righteousness. Because of righteousness. Amen, brother. Y'all hearing that? Mm -hmm. and, and this is the reason, brother and sister, why we're here. Let's go to Galatians 1, 3, okay? Galatians 1, 3, and 4. So there are many today teaching certain, certain philosophies. And they all sound good. I mean, if your mind is unsuspecting, you don't even know what the truth said anyway, if something sounds good, you usually embrace it. Is that not true? Amen. I mean, you're not willfully going to go and, and just give yourself over to evil like the Church of Satan does. I mean, them people do it. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Amen. 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 But they're calling these philosophies of today gospel truth. Amen. Amen. But I broke the news not too long ago because we already know I'm telling you, God is not the God of all nations. That's true. And God is not going to save all the nations of this earth. No. No, he ain't. That's right. No, he ain't. He's not going to change anything from what he did from the beginning. Amen. None whatsoever at all. There were strangers that came up out of Egypt with Israel mm -hmm. that was joined to them, and God gave instruction to Israel to love them as brethren. Because they received the laws, the commandments, and the covenant. And don't you do them no, no, don't do them no harm. And don't rule over them with no rigor because they are brethren. That's what it says about that's the law right. of the stranger in the land. That's they right. were once strangers, now they're no longer strangers. That's right. And when we turn around and read this over in the new covenant, we can see we're no longer strangers. Amen. Isn't that right? That's right. We're God's people. And so it, what the law of the stranger had to do with is a people becoming of the children of Israel. Amen. I'm making sense. Mm -hmm. The people yes, becoming of the children of Israel and have to do with whole nations no. and God was going to be a God of them. No, he ain't no. either. No. He ain't never been a God of all nations. He ain't going to never be a God of all nations. He's the God of Israel, his people. And if you want to be joined to Israel Amen. and you want to become part of his people, he's giving you a, a, a blueprint. Amen. Amen. Galatians 1 3, read on. Grace be to you uh -huh. and peace from God the Father. Read on. And from our Lord Jesus Christ. Good old grace. Who gave himself for our sins. Uh -huh. Now he, why did he give himself for our sins? Let's read this right here. That he might deliver us from this present evil world. See, God is still in the delivering business. Amen. And it's hard, brothers and sisters, being a man to come from evil and have to fight evil every single day in his own self. Amen. It's hard to try to tell the people who are evil that you need to come out of the evil because God is trying to deliver you. 
Amen. Because they have been so deceived in their philosophies that they receive. They actually think that you are a personal enemy to them. That you're trying to withhold something good from them. Now let me tell you something about sin. There's pleasure in sin, but it's only for a season. Amen. That's the thing that holy righteous instruction is trying to keep you from. Yes. Amen. Experiencing the pain of the deception of sin. Right. Amen. 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 Because there's more at stake right here than just experiencing the pain of the deception of sin. What's at stake is a righteous, eternal soul salvation. Yeah. You can't wait on yesterday year to get holy. You got to be holy today. Amen. Right. You're getting your mind prepared to be holy so you can have an expected end. Amen. And if your mind has not been trained to receive God and his statutes, his laws, his commandments, the way he says do, do it, mm -hmm. his Holy Spirit imparted deep down inside to give you a love for the truth. Because remember, he said, I'm going to put my spirit in you. I'm going to put my laws in you. Amen. Because the spirit and the word agree. He knows what he's talking about. That's right. And he's going to cause a love to come up on you. Amen. 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 Are you following that you love him? And I'm sorry, folks, we just don't have that. We don't have many that, it, that is uh, representatives of that love. Amen. It's true. Not everyone that came out of Egypt entered into the promised land. Amen. We need to remember that. So do you want, we don't repeat the same mistakes of the past. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't need to repeat the same mistakes from the past. You finished that one, right? Uh, I got one little part of it. Or a little part. Go ahead on. According to the will of God and our Father. All right. Go to Ephesians 5, verse 15. Truth has become the doctrine of hate today. 